early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and she found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So she ran back to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and she said to them, they have taken, they have taken the Lord away and, and we don't know where they've put him. So Simon Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. They both were running, but the other disciple got there first. And he bent down and looked in, but did not go in. And he saw the strips of linen lying there. Then Simon Peter, who was behind him, (laughs) give me a minute. He arrived and he went into the tomb. He also saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the burial cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. It was separate to the linen and folded neatly. Then the other disciple came in and he saw, and he saw, and he believed. They did not yet understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. So the disciples went back to their homes. But Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, crying. And as she wept, she bent down and she looked into the tomb and saw two angels clothed in white, sitting where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at his feet. And the angel said to her, Woman, why are you crying? And she said, They they have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they put him. Then as she turned around, Jesus was there. She saw him, but she did not recognize him. And Jesus said to her, Woman, Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? And Mary replied, and Mary, thinking that he was the gardener, said, Sir, if you have taken his body somewhere, please tell me where it is and I will go and find him. I'll bring him back. Then Jesus said to her, Mary. Then turning to him, she recognized him. And cried out, Teacher! (laughs) And Jesus said, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. Instead, go to my brothers and tell them that I am returning to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. (sighs) So Mary ran to the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Now, later that day, the disciples were gathered together in one house with the doors locked for fear of the Jews. When suddenly, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, peace be with you. And he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were were overjoyed when they saw that it was Jesus. And again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you, just as the Father sent me. Now I am sending you. And he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Those that you do not forgive, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the other disciples when Jesus had appeared to them. So the other disciples went to him and said, we've seen the Lord. But Thomas said, unless I see the holes in his hands and put my fingers where the nails were and put my hand in his side, I will not believe it. Now, one week later, 
The disciples were in the house and Thomas was with them. And though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. And then turning to Thomas, he said, Here are my hands. Put your fingers where the nails were. Take your hand and place it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, You believe because you have seen. But blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now, Jesus performed many other miraculous signs for his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are recorded so that you may know that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and in believing, you may have life in his name. 